So over the past two months, I've been splitting all of my content into five different channels. The reason I wanted to do this is because I have so many different kinds of content. I like to do skits. I like to do tier lists for shows I like. I like to play different kinds of video games from Roblox to first person shooter games. Those are all very different genres, right? And as I started to get into new content, I noticed the viewership on the original channel was plummeting. So I was like, hmm, well, I feel like I need to make a change. Started to get this little itch, you know, that I must be doing something wrong. I got to change it right away. I got to do something different. And you know what? I didn't. I didn't have to do anything different. I felt gaslit by the YouTube algorithm because I keep hearing these successful stories of people who made it, who have a particular niche. They only do one thing, and they continually do that. They are doing what they love, but they're only doing one thing. For me, doing one thing is not doing what I love. I like doing multiple things. I like stretching my creativity far and wide. I like to do a bunch of different stuff. And I kept hearing niche down. I kept hearing keep doing the same thing or you'll alienate your audience. So I thought this was the perfect plan. I thought splitting it up into five different channels was perfect. Well, after over two months, I have not created a single new audience. On the Skits channel, I just started to get a little more impressions. But on every other channel, after two months of posting content, some of the new videos still only have like 10 impressions after five days. So, YouTube isn't helping me out at all, and nobody seems to be interested. Of the impressions, a lot of my videos have zero views, and I know the quality of my content is the same as the old stuff when it was successful, so something else is wrong. Something else is the issue, the timing, where the footage is coming from on a new channel with no audience, with no footing to stand on. And I'm just getting nowhere. And it should be growing quicker because I knew it grow, grew quicker in the past when I first started my channel. Of course, and that's the example I base it off of, my old you know, records on the old channel. But now I got five new ones under the same Google account, and none of them are being successful, and I thought, why do I post these videos if they're not going to get views? I might as well just keep the videos to myself. What is the point of being a YouTuber, an actual YouTuber, if no one's going to view the content? And I know I can get views, because I also recently posted a video on the old channel announcing the new channels. And that one got about a quarter of a thousand views. And out of those thousand, 30 people, or 40 people actually, watched the video. Which is an 8% click-through rate. Which is pretty good. And that's on the old channel. And it's just a video of me talking like this for only two and a half minutes. Telling everyone to go subscribe to the new channels. And guess what? Of those 40 people, two people went and subscribed to all the channels. Nobody subscribed to just one or just two of them because they didn't like the other content from the other channels. They just didn't do anything. The point is, what am I doing? You know, what am I... What, why? Why do I keep backpedaling? Why do I keep going back and redoing everything, you know? I do good after I make changes, and then I'm like, let's keep this going. Or I do bad uh, after I make changes to the channels, and then I backpedal again, like I'm doing now, and I just keep changing it. I keep 
switching it up because I think I'll be more successful if I just make a few changes and I make the niching better and I stop trying out so many different things on one channel. It's better to spread it out or to just stop myself from creativity and just do one content altogether on one channel. Those are the solutions. Oh boy. And then I wear myself thin because I'm exhausted. I don't feel the creative juices flowing in my mind. So then I finally feel like I have an outlet. I finally did the right thing with the channel. And then it starts to fall off. It starts not to do good again with the views. And then I start thinking again. Oh, what do I need to change? Ugh. Gosh. So I really can't blame the algorithm. I can really only blame myself. Over the past year, over a year at this point, I should not have changed a thing for the betterment of me and for the betterment of my audience. I don't know about the YouTube algorithm. It could be rigged. It could not be. It, it, it very well could be rigged. Some of these channels out here ain't doing nothing. They're doing successful, but even so, a lot of them are pretty consistent with very similar content, so it does make sense, and YouTube keeps changing, so what do I know? The point is I just need to stop switching it up. I need to stop doubting what I'm doing. I need to stop faltering when the channel starts to do worse, because that's the ebb and flow of YouTube, and that's what I signed up for, so why do I keep trying to change it because I'm confused about the algorithm and the algorithm stops working for me. That's something out of my control and everything I'm changing really doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things. It's all going to have the same effect because of the videos I'm posting, the videos I'm making at this time on YouTube and with the audience that I have. It's all going to be the same no matter what. I can't change how the videos perform because I don't have control over how the audience will perceive it at the time or what the algorithm is going to do for my video. I have no control over that. So why do I keep trying to manipulate my channels in order so that I can better succeed in <laughs> the algorithm? It's, it's just not working. It's just not working. All these changes that I keep making. And it's making me look stupid. I'm embarrassing myself on here. I totally am. I'm embarrassing myself. I feel embarrassed for the people watching and expecting new content. And I'm just sitting here like, oh, I'm reposting the same videos again because it's on a new channel. Eh, sorry. Like, I just look like a fool. I'm an idiot. Again, I can't really blame YouTube. It's just the way it's structured. That's the way it is. Whether it's rigged or not, that's how it is, and I can't change it. So there's no use for me to continue to keep changing everything. So I'm done. I'm done. This video is to commemorate me being done changing things for good. It's just going to be a plain channel. It's just going to be me. It's just going to be me and my content, whatever I want to do. I'm going to post a bunch of random different crap. I'm going to post skits. I'm going to post tier lists. I'm going to post a myriad of totally different games because that's what I like. I like to change it up because if I kept doing the same game, if I kept only doing skits, if I kept only doing tier lists, I would get exhausted and I would hate it. And I don't want to keep doing the same thing for my channel. I don't want to do just some mundane commentary for stuff that's going on out there like on social media i don't want to just do that i might do it every once in a while if i find something interesting but i can't just do one thing and my content is all of me all of the stuff i like to do so it's all going to be on one centralized channel and if it alienates my audience because i'm doing so much different stuff so be it you know uh, people who subscribe, I guess, are going to have to subscribe to all of my content, not just the stuff that they particularly love or interested in. They might just have to be interested in me and who I am. And I'm not trying to make that sound weird. I'm just being honest. I, I can't do it any other way. I need 
to create multiple different kinds of content in order for me to continue to be a YouTuber. So that's what I like. That's what I want to do. So it's all going to be here. Here on Stooms. That's it. I'm, I'm Stooms. Silas Tombs. The name is created based on my first and last name, Stooms. And you're going to get it all. You're going to get all the content. My five channels were Zombies, Bee Swarm, Tearless on Media, Music, Movies, Shows, stuff like that, and Random Skits. And there was a fifth channel. And part of the motivation to make multiple channels was because this fifth channel, which I called the secret channel, it only really works for the immersion if you don't know who I am. If you know who it is, then it kind of doesn't work. There's voice acting involved. And I play this character in a game that I'm playing. That's basically what's happening. So the secret channel, that's what it was. That's why it had to keep secret because I didn't want people to know it was me. I wanted to people wanted people to use their imagination and say, hey, this guy is playing this game and he seems realistic. You know, I'm uh, kind of role playing as the character I created in this game. And it just so happens to be Skyrim. It's a Skyrim character. And I'm just pretending to be a YouTuber who is the character I'm playing, like the, the YouTuber is this character. Well, that facade isn't going to work anymore because it's going to be on this channel. That is the only bummer to me to putting everything back on one channel. Otherwise, this is exactly what I need. I need to bring everything back because I was stupid to think that doing five separate channels and seeing if they would be successful would work. I, I, I was stupid to think that that would work. That's <laughs> what I'm trying to say. So yeah, you're going to know it's me on that. Just a heads up. Um, that's going to be the structure of those videos, though. I'm not going to break character during the Skyrim videos. So it's going to be going to be that guy. He's my character. He's going to be the one like leading those videos, whatever. Uh, spoiled. So if you're a new viewer and you see those viewers for the first time and that's how you discover my channel, then for you it'll be special because you'll be like, oh, who's this Ragnar guy? But then once you look through my channel, you'll be like, oh, it's him. Okay. So that's the only thing. Uh, that kind of sucks. It's not going to be as special. You're not going to be curious about, oh, who the heck is this this character and his story and why does he act this way? You're going to it's it's a it's a character. I'm going to repost all the videos that I took down from this channel. And I'm not going to do the stupid thing where I repost them over a long period of time. I'm just going to put them all one day this coming week ahead. Uh, it's all just going to be back on the channel. Back where it was. And uh, you can do with it what you will. And new videos will continue to come out every week. I'm going to be posting once a week on Saturday at this time. 9 o'clock, moving from 10 o'clock to 9 o'clock, and I'm also going to do community posts weekly. I'm going to do at least three a week, Monday through Friday, but I'll try to do five a week community posts based on the videos that I'm creating, and that's pretty much the plan. That's, that's it. That's what's happening. So I'm making a video like this hopefully i hate to say hopefully because i swear i'm not going to do this again i'm pretty dang certain i hope not but i've already done it so many times to where it's like okay you know the guy who cried wolf he's probably going to be back again two months later and try to change something again i don't want to i want to keep it all here i'll keep reminding myself this is you this is all of you it's all going to be in one place and that's it People are just going to have to deal with that because I can't have it any other way. That's This is what I want to do. All these different things. So, yeah. If it doesn't work, so be it. Eventually it will work. That's how YouTube works. If I keep hammering away, eventually something will, will click. Something will snag. And 
get picked up by the algorithm. It's happened before. That's why I'm confident that that will happen. But it's just going to take a heck of a lot longer of a time because I have so much different content on my channel. This is just another set of news for y'all, and I feel like a total moron, quite frankly, that I let YouTube gaslight me for this long without just going back and doing what I'm supposed to be doing. And that's just making content naturally and not focusing on the little details and the numbers like, ah. So yeah, I apologize. I wholeheartedly apologize to you regulars out there. I would like to shout out to T. Royer, who has been active on my community posts on my other channels. Thank you so much for your support, my guy. Love you, you're the best. And also, Zach0333, thank you so much for your guys' support and just going along with it, even though it was a stupid thing that I did and splitting up all the content. I hope to never do it again, and I sincerely apologize, especially to you two, because you guys are very loyal and awesome followers. And uh, yeah, uh, T-E-R-O-Y-E-R, Terroyer. And Zach0333, thank you guys so much. Um, and everyone else who's been subscribed and somehow stayed through this, thank you. I don't even know if you're active on my channel or if you even go on YouTube ever, but thank you for staying subscribed. And uh, I hope never to change this up again and just keep it all on this channel with Stooms. And again, I apologize. So yeah, as always, I hope you have a wonderful day. And I hope you stick around for the next video. And with that, bye-bye.